investigation. After moving to Charleston last year, Benjamin and Hope Jordan needed to find a babysitter for their then seven-month-old son, Finn. It didn't take long for the couple to find someone. We felt like Alexis was a good fit at the time. They hired 21-year-old Alexis Khan for the job, who came up clean in a background check. However, their confidence in Khan didn't last too long. About five months into her being our babysitter, we started to notice that our dog was very defensive of our son whenever she would come in the door. He was very aggressive towards her, and a few times we actually had to physically restrain our dog from going towards her. The now suspicious parents had a plan. Hope suggested they place an iPhone under the couch and let the phone record what happens while they were at work. When the couple got home, they listened to the tape and were horrified by what they heard. It started with cussing, then you hear slap noises, and his crying changes from a distress cry to a pain cry. And I just wanted to reach through the audio tape, go back in time and just grab them up. To know that five months I had handed my child to a monster, not knowing what was going on in my house for that day. Charleston City Police arrested Khan a few weeks later, and she confessed to the crime. Yesterday, she pleaded guilty to assault and battery. The sentence? one to three years in prison. As part of her plea, Khan also will be placed in a child abuse registry, which means she will not be allowed to work with children. That is fantastic news for us to know that maybe Finn's ordeal has possibly saved another child's life in the future. Had our dog not alerted us to the trouble, had my wife's instincts not said we need to make something happen, it could have been Finn that was killed by the babysitter. It's, you never know. Alexis Khan will have to serve at least one year of her three-year sentence before she's eligible for parole. As for Finn Jordan, his parents say he's doing fine and shows no effects from being abused. Live in the News Center, Harv Jacobs, Live 5 News. State Law Enforcement Division investigating a fire that killed a 77-year-old woman in Cross, South Carolina. Family members say Patricia Hamm.